Buenos and Half a Day. Today we're going to take one of those lobster tails that we caught down in San Diego and we're going to make some fresh lobster kiliquin. Stay tuned and follow along to see how we make it. Welcome back. So the ingredients that you'll need for this dish is some lobster tail, about a one, one pound lobster tail, some fresh grated coconut, some green onions, some lemons, hot pepper, some salt, and some mint leaves. All right, now we got our lobster tail. I'm gonna split it in half and take the meat out. All right, now we got it taken out of the shell and we're gonna go ahead and just remove this skin and then chop up the tail into small pieces. All right, now we've got our lobster tail cleaned and chopped up into small pieces and put into a strainer. I'm gonna show you why you put it in a strainer. So what you wanna do is get a small pot of water and we're gonna boil a pot of water. All right, now we've got our water boiling. What you wanna do is just take your lobster tail and we're just gonna pour the water over slowly. We just want to blanch it. Now you just want to blanch it till the meat just starts to turn opaque or very light white. Should be good right there. And put some fresh lemon juice in and let the uh, citric acids cook the uh, lobster tail. Alright, now I want to mix it all up and let it soak in that lemon juice. We're gonna go ahead and just put this in the fridge. All right, now that we're letting the lobster tail soak in the lemon juice in the fridge, we're gonna um, start grating our coconut. So what I use to grate my coconut, I use this, it's called a kumzu. Uh, also, you can call it a coconut grater, but kumzu is the Chamorro name for it. If you can't find a coconut grater, you can also use a coconut grinder, which you can find on Amazon, or you can just take the coconut meat out and use a cheese grater, and that also works good too. I'm gonna crack the coconut open. So I usually use just a big bolo knife and use the back end of it and just hit it in the middle and spin it until it cracks.
And there you got it. And now we're gonna go ahead and start grating some coconut. Cut up some green onions. Just want to cut them up fine, just mince them. All right, now our lobster meat is done soaking in the lemon juice. And we'll start to add all the rest of the ingredients. Add the chopped green onions. Gonna add some salt. Salt to taste, uh, depending how salty you want it. Or Then we're gonna add some hot pepper. Uh, you can either use fresh minced pepper. Uh, I like to use this Doni de Nancy uh, from back home on Guam. So put a little bit of this in there. Then we want to take a couple of mint leaves and mince it up. Get our mint, mint leaves minced up, throw that in there. And then we want to take our fresh grated coconut that we grated earlier using the kumzu. Now you want to mix it all up. A little bit more Denancy in there. And it needs more lemon, but I don't want to add any more lemon juice because I don't want it to be too soupy. So I'm going to use lemon powder. And that should do it right there. Back up. All right, let's give it a taste. That's mungi right there. That's what we say when something's delicious. Wow. That was really delicious. And that's it. That's how you make lobster keleguin. It's a real easy dish. You can find all the ingredients at your local supermarket, except for coconut. You might have a little hard time finding that, but if you can't find it in the mainland, I recommend getting a couple of them because sometimes they're rotten inside. So if you get two or three, Hopefully one of them is good and usable. 
As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and follow me on Instagram. Zeus Masi, Estelators. Shoots. I'm an island boy from the island of Guam. Living in the USA. For tomorrow's me, the friends would free. Each other with a friendly half a day.